Hey folks, thanks again for tuning in. Good to see you back. So today, we're at it again. I'm moving another colony of bees from a water meter. So I figured I'd bring the camera along and take you along for the ride. So uh, enough rambling and check it out. So this meter here, it's definitely an active colony. Uh, there is comb that kind of collapsed off the top already. But no worries, we'll kind of go in there a little bit. Now I do have a white bed sheet here set up with some empty frames. A medium five frame nuke is all I got. I don't believe there's a lot of comb in there anyhow. So that should be a big enough box to hold them all. Smoker's lit. And I have my queen clip and everything else ready. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is what we got so far. We still got a couple of pieces that are <clears throat> that are together. Mostly brood comb. So if there is a queen in here still alive, she's gonna be a nice one. Cause she's laying up all these comb pieces of brood. But I'm just gonna keep on working away little by little. I got some right here framed up already. And then we got some bees here. So stay tuned. Okay, folks, so welcome back. And uh, we're, we are getting some progress here. I got all of the comb pieces out of the meter and secured in the frames. So we have a few bees. We got most of the bees here. And we got a nice congregation here on the box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this Rubbermaid tote. I'll bring it over close. I'll pick this lid up and I'll shake the bees over that Rubbermaid tote so I can look for the queen. And hopefully she's on there so I can put her in a clip because I have not yet found her. So we'll see how that goes. A few moments later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So we did find the queen. She was on that frame there that was on the side of the box. So lucky for me, I got her in a clip. So I'm gonna set her towards the entrance for now. Now it can be a little more. I don't have to be so tender, you know? A 
basically stuck a frame in here so the bees crawling on the ground, they can crawl up the frame and out if they want. Look at the front of the box now. Plenty of bees. So there's really no need for me to shake that lid over the Rubbermaid tote now that I found the queen. But I'm going to remove the wax first and then I'll shake the rest of those bees to get it off the, off the meter. These ones here. Okay, so now the bees are pretty much vacant from the meter. No more bees on the top there. They all march towards the box. I'm gonna get, shake the bees off of that queen clip there and get the queen clip secured in a frame. And then I'll put the top on the box with a ratchet strap around it and we'll just wait for the bees to migrate in. Okay folks, so job is pretty much done. I got the cover back on the meter. Again, I have a napkin inside that is doused with some Be Quick and I stuffed another napkin inside that little hole and doused that with Be Quick. Uh, there's maybe only six, six bees flying around. Uh, all the other bees we got, they're inside the box. Queen is contained. I got a bed sheet kind of covering the bees, so any bees that were hanging out on the front porch, uh, they'll be protected on the ride home. So, Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you following my progress. If you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Don't forget to hit that little bell so you're notified on my next upload. And check me out on Facebook if you haven't already. Have fun with your bees.